Hey everyone, so I got some feedback on the topic of SD and S Delta that I posted in a reel on Instagram. And I wanted to jump on here and do a video explaining the difference between an SD and an MO, and then also tie in the difference between an SD and an S Delta. So first let's talk about the definition. So an SD is a discriminative stimulus. That term sometimes trips people up because it is lengthy and SD is kind of reversed with the initials for the acronym, but it is a discriminative stimulus. Well, we know a stimulus is just anything in the environment that makes contact with our sense modes, things that signal availability of things or signal things that are not available. The word discrimination in ABA means the difference between two things. There are things in the environment that are neutral to us and we learn what they mean and what their signals mean to us. For example, we learn to stop at red lights. When we are learning to drive, we may not know what the signals or when we're younger, but we learn over time that when we see the red light, we will stop to avoid a ticket or avoid an accident. Same thing goes for green lights. We learn that this means go. We have discriminated the difference between a green light and a red light. Another clinical example would be teaching a child the difference between a dog and a horse. They are similar in that there's four legs, but they are different in that one is a dog and one is a horse. So initially they're just stimuli in the environment, but what, once we put meaning to them, and we teach the difference between these two things or items, we can then further elaborate and teach other things like concept formation or understanding the topic of animals or all horses. So the SD signals the availability of reinforcement. We have learned that in the presence of certain stimuli, we will be reinforced, whether it's escaping or avoiding something like negative reinforcement, or whether it's gaining something that we like, positive reinforcement. When we stop at a red light, we avoid the things that I mentioned. We avoid an accident or a ticket. When we ask a client to identify the dog and they select the dog correctly, we then will praise and say, nice job, you got it right. Now, what happens if they chose the horse? So we know that they wouldn't receive the same level of reinforcement. We may have some procedure in place to try it again, but they will only access reinforcement in the correct example. So the same thing goes for the red light, green light example. If we see the red light and we go instead, that is not going to provide us reinforcement. If they choose the horse instead of the dog, when we say, where's the dog, that is the S delta. SDs are based on motivation. Depending on what we want depends on which stimuli we look for and depends on which SDs signal the availability of reinforcement to us. A pretty basic example is when you're hungry, you may go to your fridge, open it up, see what's available, pick a snack that's in there, like berries. Eat the berries, feel better, the hunger goes away. This is reinforcing to you. Now, if we're hungry and we go over to a cabinet and open it up and it's the one with all the coffee mugs in it, that's not going to meet the need. That's an S delta. You open it up, you say, oops, what was I thinking? That's the incorrect behavior that you need to engage in to get what you need. So bringing this back around to the MO versus SD topic. The motivating operation is what motivates you to do the things that we do. When we're hungry, that motivates us to go find food. When we're tired, that motivates us to go rest or find our bed. When we see a commercial for a car that we really want, that motivates us to maybe want a new car. Now the difference here is that doesn't mean that we can get it. You may hear someone talking about something like a new pair of shoes, a new pair of Nikes, and it may make you think, hmm, I want a new pair of shoes. That doesn't mean that there's anything in the environment that signals the availability of reinforcement. 
that doesn't mean that there are Nikes available to you that you have the extra $150 to go spend on a pair of Nikes. That just means that it changes your motivation. Now you may decide, okay, I want to save up. So your motivation there is to save money, to then go to the store and pick out a fresh pair of Nikes or order them online. But until you have the money and resources available, you will have to wait. Once you have the money and you go to the store and you see the shoes, the shoes at that point could signal the availability of reinforcement. You can purchase them. So when you're trying to determine the difference between an MO and an SD in situations, just ask yourself, is something available that will provide reinforcement to the individual, whether it's escaping or avoiding something or whether it's adding something that they like? I hope this brief overview helped sort some things out on this topic. If you aren't already following us on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click the notification button so that you can be up to date on any new videos that we post. Happy learning.